Welcome to another podcast of the current situation Manchester United. Yes, I just woke up, so of course I look very drowsy because I just woke up. But there's a few Manchester United um, news that I haven't been keeping up with and I should have done a video way earlier than just this morning. So yesterday, Manchester United got some business handled in terms of transfers going both ways, coming in and going out. First of all, Wambisaka has been sold to West Ham and West Ham has been luring, looming, I should say, around sign one bissaka because they want a fullback and they believe that one bissaka is the type of fullback that they want so they so they signed him yesterday i wasn't expecting him to be sold i was aware of the interest from west ham to one bissaka but i didn't see it happening that they could sit they they could like you know like sign him um but they actually did and uh yeah he's a west ham player now um which means that we needed a fullback which explains the signing of Mars. I know I'm mess up his name, but we signed this fullback from Bayern Munich, um, Marzuri, Mazerui, or something like that. But anyway, we signed him from Bayern Munich, and also we signed Delight, which is a delight to me because I've been saying that we need centre backs because the injury prone we know the injury prone tendencies of Lissandra Martinez we know the inconsistency tendencies of Har Maguire so we need we needed another center back Varane is gone the other young French defender is gone to Sevilla not Sevilla to Villarreal although I didn't want him to be so I think he could have been worked on but if you're making some mid-table side striker go sit you down away from home Name Salanki, then I guess that's warranted for a transfer because they're not good enough. But we signed Delight and he's at Manchester United now. So that's the piece of business that we took care of yesterday and I'm proud of that. Now, we, um, I believe we still need another midfielder for some reason. We do need, in my opinion, we, I believe we, we do need a midfielder. Um, but yeah, we got some business done yesterday, man. Um, it's sad that one Misaka had to go just to free up, you know, the fullback position for the the, 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 the fullback we signed from Bayern Munich. Matter of fact, I saw that Bayern Munich posted on Facebook that they sold the light and the fullback I was just talking about. By the reaction, you could tell that they, they were not happy with not only selling the light, but selling the, the fullback guy, the Marazui guy. They were not happy. They were saying, oh, yes, you know, Vincent Company doesn't know what he's doing. Although it's not my place to say, but I must say it anyway. You know, Vincent Company is not going to do well for Bayern Munich, you know. I don't believe that he's going to be safe for. I mean, Bayern Munich is still going to moon out that league, bro. Although they, they didn't do it last season. And that's due to, you could say that's due to the hurricane. No trophy winning season syndrome. But I believe he's going to win a trophy. They may not be, you know, the Bayern Munich of old. They might be, but they still go win stuff, in my opinion. They have too much good players not to win anything this season. But anyway, yeah, bro, some of them are not happy that we made those couple of transfers, isn't me? But that's on them. We, Manchester United, are delight delighted, pun intended. We are delighted with the signing of the fullback and delight. So, of course, you know, I'm happy about that. But like I said, I believe we still need... A midfielder, bro. Oh my, here is so nappy. Brother need a haircut. But um, yeah, we 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 yeah, it's a good start, bro. Um, it's a good start. I am I'm very. It's unfortunate. One sucker had to go to the execution chair and pay and pay for not pay for his sins, of course, but. We have been saying for years that Omi Saka needed to improve on his attacking. And it came to a point where I guess that's the best he's going to ever be attacking. And unfortunately, that's not good enough for Manchester United. So seeing that West Ham was interested in Omi Saka, Manchester United saw this as an opportunity to cash in on him and get a better fullback. And that's what they did. So, yeah, bro, my heart grew up. I mean, not that Omi Saka is dead. He may be dead to Manchester United because he's not a Manchester United player no more. Or he's not a Manchester United player. But my heart goes out to Amisaka. For the five years that he's been here, 
he had his moments, bro. He had his, yeah, this is as a matter of a short eulogy. Because I actually liked Wamisaka. I actually like him. He was never one to complain based on what I know. Of course, I'm not in the, I'm not in the camp, so what do I know? But based on his, dispos- his demeanor, you can't tell that he's a good dude, bro. You could tell that he tried to work on his attacking, bro. We've seen that. We've seen that. You understand? Um, we know that attacking is not his strongest suit to put on. He's, that's, not, that's not how he makes his name. He's more of a defensive, old-school fullback. And maybe those are the ways that the new Western manager, I believe he's, he used to manage severe and uh, Wolves. But anyway, I guess that's the type of fullback he wants. Old school, rush, gets in there, hands dirty, you know, gets the job done. That type of fullback. And that's one of in a nutshell. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say, bro. Um, the, yeah, but like, well, the first series, bro, I'm very, I'm very, it shows that we have been not only initiative, we have not, it's not only show that we have, we have shown initiative, initiative in the transfer window, but we're going for the players that we want. That, don't, don't forget that, you know, we're going for players that we want, not plan B players, not players that we say, you know what? If we don't sign A or B, we can get C and D. And if, no, we're getting players we want. The the Ashworth guy and the other guys that are in, you know, the, the, the recruitment, whatever, in terms of football, they're, do, they're, 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 they're in the laboratory make, making something work, bro. They're making that magic work, bro. We get the light. We wanted the light. We, we got him. We want the fullback. We got him. We got two Bayern Munich players in the same chance of winning from Bayern Munich. I know they're Manchester United players. My fuck, we got Xerxes from Bayern Munich based on, I believe he used to play for Bayern Munich at some point. We got this guy now. So yeah, bro, although I'm everything I'm out, if uh, Mert, if, uh, if Mert, if Mert, if everything I could think, if everything I work things out and get this this side ticking, I may reconsider my position. I may reconsider my position. Now again, like I said, as I wrap up this video, it's one thing to get good players. It's one thing to get good players. But if you have no implemented system to get the best out of them good players, it's all for naught. You spend money for what? For good players, good, but where is the system to accommodate them? Where is the system that is palatable for the players to play properly and effectively? So that is what we want. Yes, we're good. We're getting good players. You see me? And he's and everything I guess getting players that he that he either worked with or understand understand his philosophies, quote unquote. So I'm, I'm, like I said, bro, I'm positive for next season, bro. I believe we need another midfield, like I said, but that's all I'm going to say, bro. You see me? Um, leave your comments below in the comment section. I know my brother looks like he's, he just woke up. <laughs> like he just woke up from the side of the road and haven't eaten like in two weeks, but yeah, man. Leave your comments below in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel. One me sucker, bro. I just feel bad. I just be as, uh, I feel sad for him. Well, the interest was there, and um, he didn't go. I don't. He didn't go on the cheap. But um, one Bissaka's time, it. I believe he had to go. Although I was surprised that he actually, you know, got sold. But you know, I just think his time was up. I believe his, his ceiling. In terms of improving his attacking, the attacking side of his game, has peaked. And that's the best it's going to ever be. And seeing that, you know, that's the best it's ever going to be, it's not going to be good enough for Manchester United. So I guess that's the reason why he got sold. And he did got sold. Comments below. And I'm out. I'll be doing a match reaction of... Not match reaction. 
whether I'll be doing a match action after the game in question, but I'll be doing a preview for Manchester United versus Fulham. I believe we have a game on Friday or Saturday. Whatever, but I'll be doing a preview, so look out for it. I'm out.